<coughs> no <laughs> Kendall, uh, obviously, two of your last three games have been very productive. To, to what do you owe that? Obviously, the line is uh, blocking really well right now. Mm -hmm. How much of it is uh, has to do with your health? How much of it is uh, the play in front of you? Yeah, I feel like it's just a combination of everything. Just uh, first off, the O line. You know, I feel like as a running back, you can never really um, have success if your O line isn't really performing. And I feel like they've kind of taken it very seriously in practice. And also, I got to give it to the scout uh, defense because they give us the the game reps and the game looks that we're gonna get on game day. And they also, you know, it's the young guys like Gabe and uh, Jordan Hall. Like they challenge our O line because they give such good effort every single day and every single look that. It kind of prepares you for the game and you know makes it easier you know on game day to kind of just be comfortable and uh, just have fun out there more so. Kendall, when you look at the challenge on Saturday, what do you feel like is the key for you guys to get that running game going against the mm -hmm. Alabama defense? I mean, I would just uh, first thing I would say just starting off fast, just coming out with that energy and you know not taking your foot off the gas. I feel like you know our team we kind of have that dominant type of play style. And I feel like if like we know how good we are, we know what we're capable of, and we, we really kind of take it up to ourselves to, you know, uphold that level, uphold that standard. Kendall, with, with all due respect to your, your offensive line, you're, you're breaking more tackles now. A lot of that is on you at the second level. Um, when did you feel that, that burst return, I guess, that, mm -hmm. that we've seen flashes of? Because it does appear like mm -hmm. you're playing the best of your career. Is that all side you feel? Uh, to be honest, I don't even know like when it popped up. I know that you know during the time of dealing with the hamstring and then MCL, there's just a whole lot of like it's 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 a mind game that's kind of played. You know, once you once they say you're back and say you're ready, it's kind of a mind game to kind of convince yourself, you know, that you're 100 percent back and ready. So I feel like it was a whole lot of trial and error. It was a whole lot of different cuts I had to make. I had to uh, feel what it <clears throat> felt like to get tackled again, to get twisted up. Sometimes there was a whole lot of things that I had to just you know put my body through again to get that full confidence. So I felt like, you know, and also during those times, I remember Coach Smart, if, if he felt that I wasn't, you know, if I was babying it or, uh, you know, not giving it all the way, he would get on the mic and, you know, let me know that I wasn't, it, I wasn't pushing it. So I feel like just during that time, just allowing myself to have a whole lot of trial and error moments and just, just really push it, push myself. I feel like that kind of just allowed me to grow into myself. Can you, can you give us a Kirby a, a, a quote, an example? A, a Kirby quote? Of, of Kirby uh, letting you know that. Uh, I don't know. Y'all might have heard it when he when he talks about the baby back bull. You know, he might have threw one of those out. That, that's the first one that comes to mind. You mentioned a couple of freshman defenders there. I wanted to ask you about two others, CJ and Raylan. What's mm -hmm. impressed you the most about those two young linebackers? I knew from. I believe winter workouts when we just started going out there and then uh, when it translated on to just doing seven on seven and little, you know, uh, padless type of drills and stuff like that. I knew these guys, they're going to be the next, you know, good Georgia linebackers. Just seeing them in practice, seeing how good they run, seeing how after practice they're straight to the film room, how they put all the extra extra effort into it. And even they, they came in really just trying to learn from smile and pop. And I feel like they just took everything as a learning process and took everything as just trying to gain the experience, not really focusing on, uh, I want to come and start, you know, day one. That wasn't really their focus. I feel like it was more, what can I do to be the best, uh, the best I can be in my position? And I feel like they both have taken that to heart. And just seeing how they first came in and seeing where they're, where they're at now, both getting very valuable playing time and just helping us be able to win big games. You know, I'm proud of, proud of my guys. Uh, Kirby, get another question about the breaking tackles. Kirby mentioned yesterday there were a few times during the Tech game, some of the you know, Tech players would tap you. They had to come off the field holding the side, holding on to something like that. Uh, how much, and, and I don't know, how much enjoyment do you, do you get that as a running back? You know, you're yeah. trying to put the pain to some of these guys from trying to bring you down. Yeah, to be honest, I don't even think think about it. Uh, I don't know if like most times if y'all see me on the field, it's like after, say, I get a first down, it's not much celebration after the run, it's not much. You know, I don't personally like even think about it in the moment. I just, right when I get tackled, I look back to the sideline and they'll get back. Maybe after a touchdown, there'll, because my line makes me do a little celebration. So maybe after a touchdown, there'll be a little celebration. But to be honest, I really don't even think of it more so. I'll, I'll start to think of it after the game when, you know, everything's all over and I'm watching the film and watching the runs and I'll be like, oh, sheesh. But in the moment, I don't even think of it. <laughs>
Yeah, you've won national championships, major bowl games, major rivalries, but what would a win on Saturday make special or significant about winning the SEC championship? I feel like it would be super big just for the fact that, you know, Coach Smart pointed it out that, you know, we've never been able to beat Alabama in, in Atlanta. So I feel like being able to, and that, that doesn't just go for the, the players, that goes for the coaches as well. So I feel like we have a huge opportunity here. And just judging off of today's practice, I feel like we've taken that opportunity to heart. You know, this was probably one of the most physical, chippiest practices that we've had all year. But it just shows that, you know, how hungry we are, how, how much we want it. Like he talked about how much confidence he's seen you run with these last few weeks. Just with being healthy and the way you've had these performances the last few weeks, how much confidence are you running with going into this SEC championship? I, I, I have the utmost uh, confidence at this point, but I feel like it's a whole lot of different factors that kind of go into it. Uh, the first thing, I feel like the O-line and kind of the whole team, I feel like that plays a big role because you know, at the end of the day, you want to be trusted. You want to be able to know that you know your brothers believe in you. So before every game, before practice, before today's team run, our linemen, they, they, they'll be like, hey, K. Mill, run that ball like you know how to do. Or they'll be like, you know, they'll, they'll just keep fueling me and keep, keep letting me know stuff. And also at the same time, uh, between Coach McGee, Coach Smart, and Coach Bobo, when, you know, when your coach is constantly putting you in a position to kind of have the ball and, you know, make, make plays, it just kind of lets you know that they have the trust in you. And I, I'll let Coach Bobo and Coach Smart know after the games, like, Thank you for believing in me. Just thank you for letting me have the opportunity. Because at the end of the day, I feel like speaking for the whole team, everybody just wants the opportunity to be able to be on the field. So I feel like those were probably the two biggest things that led to me being able to have the confidence and be able to, you know, just trust my game. Kendall, when you look at Alabama's defensive line, their linebackers on film, uh, what do you see and, and uh, how confident are you guys to be able to run the ball like you want? I mean, I, I feel like. Even back to my freshman year, just watching the film, like throughout every year, it's it's so similar between Georgia and Alabama from offense, defense, special teams, like the whole just like like Coach Smart said, they're big, they're fast, they they have very talented players. At the end of the day, I feel like it's going to be about you know who wants it more. They have great coaches, we have great coaches. But I feel like both sides are going to dial up a great game plan. At the end of the day, it comes down to the players on the field and execution. Uh, you know, being at the right place at the right time, and at the end of the day, who wants it more? Who who has the deeper heart for this? Um, Carson it, it even said, you know, he he didn't know how he was going to play this year or what have you. Uh, was there a moment for you? Uh, he's had several big moments, especially looking back on the year. Of South Carolina, you guys got to come back mm -hmm. in the second half. But Auburn, you guys got to come back in the second half. Did you? Do you recall any kind of particular moment or something mm -hmm. where uh, you realized that, yeah, you know, he, mm -hmm. he's got it and we're going to be okay? I feel like it was kind of the same way with me when it was talked about, like, the, the process that it took for me to build my confidence. I feel like everything just takes, you know, it just it's a process. You know, he, he came in, he, he sat for about three years and, you know, coming straight into the starting position, especially as a quarterback. and. We don't have the simplest offense in the world. Offense in the world, like we have a very complex, diverse offense. So to be a quarterback in that and have to know everybody's, basically know everybody's assignment, what everybody has down to the T. Um, I feel like Carson, he's he's taken you know lead of this offense in a very great way. I've been able to see from week one all the way to now, like even just from his pocket presence and the throws that he'll make, and you know when he takes off with the ball in the pocket, you can just see that he's way more comfortable now and. Just to be able to see the point that he's gone, that he's made it to from now, because I've seen when, you know, back in COVID year when the quarterback position, when it was just a lot going on and then seeing him, you know, because behind the scenes, you know, people see one thing, but behind the scenes, you can see, like I see a lot of my brothers, like real emotions and how they're really feeling. So I know, you know, it hasn't really just been a smooth, happy ride. Like there's been a lot of disappointment, a lot of uh, hopes that, you know, he was going to do something earlier on and just, you know, disappointment, but, but to see now, just him taking lead of the offense, making big plays, making big throws, just being the, the quarterback, the person that the whole team knows he is. I'm just super happy for Carson, and I know that he has a thousand more blessings on the way. Let's take two more questions. <coughs> yeah, Kendall, you said that Kirby mentioned y'all haven't been able to beat Alabama in Atlanta, the SEC championship. Mm -hmm. For a program that's accomplished so much just while you've been here, what is it like to have that one big box you know, left unchecked? Mm -hmm. I mean, 
to be honest, you know, I feel like it just it just motivates us that much more. And like I said, it's not even just a player thing. It's also the coaching staff. Like even before we got there, it was a thing that wasn't accomplished. And I feel like the players, like we just every single time we've been able to put a new milestone in front of us, I feel like we've taken it on like very seriously and we've taken it very personal and just to see the hunger and just see how dedicated everybody on the team is to this task, not even just the seniors or just the, the starters or just the people that are playing, but it's all the way top to bottom, even from the walk-ons, the, the freshmen that, you know, haven't seen the field this year. It's, it's a whole buy-in from the whole program. So, you know, everybody knows the task at hand. Everybody knows, you know, this isn't something easy that's going to happen. I feel like um, winning the SEC championship is just as hard, if not harder than winning a national championship. So I feel like we know what task, the task at hand, and it's just up to us to, you know, complete it. Kendall, I know you've sung the praises of your offensive line. What has it been like watching that group go through what they've gone through this year with just the, the injuries and all the moving parts? And how does it speak to the guys you have that you mm -hmm. know, they're performing at this level? You know, the, the O-line, I would say, like, the O-line together, the whole room, it's like a super compact brotherhood. You know, even dating back to when the passing of Devin, like they just, everybody came together. And I feel like to me personally, like it means a lot to me to see them rotate out of 77 every week. Like, I feel like that just shows how much of a brotherhood it truly is. Cedric, I think a lot of them have like the, the his logo tatted on them. Cedric has a, a Devin Willick chain. So just to see like, like it's really a compact brotherhood and they play like it. They they act like in between meetings, they, the way they interact with Coach Searles, like everything but about that O-line room is a brotherhood. And I feel like they, like they take it, when it comes to game day, it's like they know that they all have each other's back. Like no matter what's happening, no matter what the situation is, they know they can look left and right and they're gonna have each other's back. So it just gives them the confidence to just focus on their job and make their job um, happen. And I feel like their success has just shown tremendously <coughs> on the field. Thank you. Thanks, Kendall. Thank Appreciate y'all.